Good day, Grade Tens. In this lesson, we're learning about charge quantization. So, the smallest possible charge, called an elementary charge, is called an electron, and it's the charge of an electron. Therefore, the elementary charge is minus 1.6 times by 10 to the minus 19 coulombs for an electron. So that is the charge of one electron, minus 1.6 times by 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. The proton, even though it's approximately 2,000 times bigger, has the same charge but is positive. So the elementary charge for a proton is plus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. So you can't get half an electron or half a proton. So the charges that are being transferred between our different objects are always going to be multiples of this elementary charge. And charge occurs in packets that are always multiples of this, okay? So we say that the charge is quantized. What does that mean? It just means that it can only be in a certain number. So it can be 1 times by 1.6 times by 10 to the minus 19, or 2 times by 1.6 times by 10 to the minus 19. So what is, why is this useful? We know that it's useful because we can actually work out the number of electrons transferred if we know the charge of an object. So let's say, for example, we've got an object which has a charge of minus 1.92 times 10 to the minus 17 coulombs. If we want to know how many extra electrons it has, in other words, how many extra electrons are making it have a negative charge, we can work it out. We know that the charge of an electron is 1 point, minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. So if we take this minus 1.92 times 10 to the minus 17 coulombs, which is the total charge, and we divide it by the charge of a single electron, which is minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, we can actually work out how many extra electrons are on this object. And in this case, it happens to be 120 electrons. So often they will give an example where they give you two isolated um, insulated objects, you have a transfer charge because they will move from charge from one object to another and then the question will say how many electrons were transferred and all you need to do is take that charge and divide it by the charge of an electron and you'll find out how many electrons. And that is that, great tense, nice and easy. Hope you have a wonderful day.